Alright, we're gonna wait for some people to get on. Uh, Alright, we got like two people. We got some people jumping on right now. Just gonna wait for a couple of more. Yo, if you're on, man, let me know you're on. Say what's up. Yo, what up, Mario? How you doing, man? Thank you for joining, baby. How's things, man? Appreciate you. Hey, Sherry, how you doing? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Um, how you doing out there? You know, people wave, baby. Nancy Campbell, how you doing, baby? Uh, hey, Francis, how you doing? Nice to see you. Hello, how you doing, girl? It's good. Andrew, my, yo, do I got DJ Drew in the building? Oh, Nancy, do you feel that? The kiss? Right through the phone. You can feel it. What up, Leah? How you doing? Jody. Hello. How you doing? You can say what's up. God bless you and the family. Without a doubt. You know, thank God, right? Absolutely. I appreciate you. Right back at you. How you doing, Leah? Nice to see you. Oh, yeah, no doubt. God bless you and the family. Definitely. How you holding up out there? What's going on? Yo, DJ Drew. What's up, DJ Drew? How oh, there's Jean Marie Ford. How you doing, girl? Nice to see you. I mean, we've a couple people to jump on. I got some things to share with you, man. I got some um, some positive vibes, bro. I wore this shirt, man. This is like positive attitude, man. Makes for good times, you know? You, you have a golden opportunity. Good. I'm glad you're good. What's up, Jean Marie? What's happening? How you doing? Nice to see you. I'm glad you could join us. I'm going to say what's up. Nice to meet you too, sweetheart. Definitely. DJ Drew, you don't say what's up, DJ Drew. I'm going to jump through this phone. I'm going to tell you right now. You already know, Drew. Don't even play. I see you. I see you, baby. I see you. Yeah, that's what's up. What's up, Sarah? How you doing? What's up, Lori? How's things? What up, Jean Marie? Yeah, just so you know. Just so we're clear. Anybody know what day it is today? Anybody on here know what day it is today? Come on, somebody. Nice t-shirt. Why, thank you. Positive, positive. Stay safe and healthy to you and your family, too. Absolutely. You know, they gave us what we need to do, right? But uh, I need a, I need to... Uh, every day is Friday. There it is. Right there. Every day is Friday. And what does that really mean, right? It comes in perspective now, doesn't it? I've been talking about this for about two, three months now. And every day is Friday. To enjoy every day. Because you never know what tomorrow brings. What up, Joe? How you doing? You know, you live for the moment. And, uh, yeah, let's let's jump right, right into, uh, I got some message I, I'd like to share with you today. So it looks like a lot of people are jumping on. How you doing, Joe? Nice to see you. Um, I'm going to jump right into it, man. And, and I posted something up. It's called Reset. And, you know, what do you mean by reset? So I, I believe that it's time. To reset and press that button. I spoke to a friend of mine this morning. And, I, and he's like, yo, D-Man, I need to reset. I said, yeah, we all need to reset. How you doing, Eileen? Ellie Moo! What up? And look, I'm not taking anything away for what's happening. Please get make sure we're clear. Nothing about what's happening. People are sick. I get it. Believe me when I tell you. And I'm going to be honest with you. I know about death. I've lost 50 plus friends since I'm a child. So I know what it's like to lose people and it's, it's tough. You lose a piece of you every time somebody goes. And uh, how you doing, Tony? And, and uh, I know what it's about. I know losing people and it hurts really badly. And I, I, I pray for the families, the healthcare workers, the first responders, the true heroes that are really going to work every day for us. I love you. And I'm so thankful for you. I'm blessed to know that we have people that are risking everything to go make sure that we're okay. So big shout out to all of you and much love that you go out every day. Teachers, first responders, everything. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I truly, what up, Barbara? How you doing? Tony Ann, how you doing? What's up, Mikey boy? What's up, Carolyn? How you doing? And I think it comes a point in life where you have an opportunity to either be positive or negative. And I, and I choose, in any situation, whether it was last year, I choose to be positive because you have an opportunity. Is If you listen to the negative, it's going to put you in a bad place. 
if you can consistently surround yourself with positive people. And listen, we all got circumstances. Everybody's got a cross to bear. And honestly, guys, we all gonna die someday. We all gonna go. And I ain't taking this away from anybody. But we have an opportunity right now. Because I believe the world's been wilding now with all the hatred. People with all the madness. The love is gone. And I think, I truly think, now listen, everybody has their beliefs. How you doing, Jennifer? I believe God gave us a reset. I said, everybody, hold on a second. Chill out. Protect your joy. Protect your joy. Because better days are coming, ladies and gentlemen. And I think to reset and, and, and pay close attention, take a look around you. And I'm watching people now, bike riding together. Social distancing, you gotta be smart. They're bike riding together. They're at home doing puzzles together. We're dancing together. You know, we're outside playing ball together. People are saying hello. And starting to realize, hey Todd, how you doing? That this is the way it should have been the whole time. Love is what gets us by, ladies and gentlemen. So we need to push the reset button. And I think that somebody said, yo, calm down. Calm down. I know it's affecting here. I get it. Believe me, there's a lot of anxious and anxiety because there's a lot of people putting it out there that the world's going to end. It's not going to end. You got to protect your joy, ladies and gentlemen. You got to protect it because better days are ahead. We have been through so many things and got through it. But this time is different. We need to come out of this better human beings. The world can become a better place. But it totally depends. Don't forget this time. We got a vacation, a lot of people. Some of us don't. But the ones that do... Take a look around you because all the titles have been stripped. You got to look in the mirror, look at your true self and say, is this what I want to do? Is this what I want to be? Is this who I really am? And say, you know what? This is a gift. I never realized what, how life, so many people are so busy running in. And not realizing that your joy is right in front of you. Your joy is now coming. Because right now you have the time to think and say, you know, I used to like drawing. So you know what you do? Start drawing today. I like playing the guitar. Get a guitar and start playing. Do things that you put on your bucket list. Do it now. Take this time. To reflect on your life. Take this time to look around and help when you can. It's been so much madness over the last couple of years with the Democrats and Republicans and black and white and Asian. Yo, check this out. I'm going to let you know right now. We all bleed red, ladies and gentlemen. We all bleed the same color. So if you can get out there and do the right thing and help when you can, then make no mistake. That's what we're here for. We're here to stay together and unite and help and stay as positive as we can because if you hear the madness, it's fear, it's panic, it's over. We're going to die. That's it. The people with anxiety and the people who are saying it, stop. Just stop. You hurting people, bro. You, you're not talking from a good source. Chill. People that ain't right and have high anxiety, you telling them that it's over. You telling them that we're never going to make it. Stop lying. You hurting people, bro. Be the light that shines, man. We need some true leaders to say, and I'm stepping up. And I need people to say, you know what? Not everybody's a strong-minded. I get it. Everybody handles things differently. 
But we need some leadership to say, check this out. Stay calm, man. We're going to be all right. I'm going to look you in your eyes. And I'm not God or Jesus. But I know 100% is in, that we're going to come out of this. And hopefully, better people, better humans, reset. Know that relationships is what's important. How you doing, Joseph Coco? Nice to see you. Hey, Jacqueline, how you doing? Michelle, how you doing? Thank you. Hey, Eric, how you doing, baby? Daryl, Mike, well, how you doing, kid? What's up, EJ? What's up, Todd Secco? How we doing? So you have an opportunity to either be the leader or to be that negative vibe that's ruining people I love. I look at people that I love on Facebook. What up, kid? And I say, stop hurting them, man. Stop. Why can't you just be positive? Try your hardest. We need leaders now, ladies and gentlemen. We need some true leadership out here. And we need to keep it calm. Because, hey, Eddie, love you, brother. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? And please, where it's coming from, it's ruining your joy. It's not protecting your mind. And if you don't have faith, the faith in that, you know what? Listen closely to this, ladies and gentlemen. Somewhere along the line, everybody lost their faith in themselves with social media and comparing themselves to everybody. They lost faith in themselves. We lost faith in who we are and what we are and what we can accomplish. Because I promise you, we are the most resilient country in the world. We've been through 1918 Spanish flu, influenza. I mean, I could go on and on and on. And you know what? You know what, what this country has? And we're made up of black, white, Asian, Mexican. It don't matter. We have resiliency. And no matter what happens, we've always found a way to rise up. And I call upon all you leaders that are out there that your mindset is correct. And you have a positive mindset. And you know that we're going to come out of this. And you know that the right thing to do is to help people that need help if you can do it. And it takes a lot of courage to be a leader. And it takes a lot of courage to get on here and say, you know what? I'm going to be the one to spread that. Because having faith, ladies and gentlemen, has to be real strong right now, Joe. Having faith has to be so powerful. And listen, there's so much power in prayer. And I've changed over... When I was 21, I could care less about anything. But as you get older, you start to realize that faith is important. And praying, there's power in prayer, ladies and gentlemen. And there's power in faith. And there's power right here to take it down a notch. We all ain't going to die. We're going to die someday, but we just don't know when it's going to be or what it is. Because just imagine if everybody knew that death date, how would you be living right now? So every day is Friday. Enjoy every moment that we got, Dawn. How you doing? Good morning, Tony. How you Kim Signoretta, how you doing? Nice to see you. How's my boy, Rob? Hey, Rob, my boy, Rob's a veteran. Love you, brother. Love you. And to all the veterans and, and all the health care workers, teachers, first responders, the true heroes of this country. I got nothing but love for you and thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I know everybody here feels the same. But ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you a quick story. There's power in prayer. And there's power in positivity. And there's a quick story, I don't know if you know about George Washington, if you saw the, the uh, National Day of Prayer was pretty good. And, and George Washington at the time, I remember, it, if you remember, George Washington, hey, how you doing, Rob? That's my little boy. My son says hello. Mwah. Love you, kid. You already know, man. We're going to talk tomorrow, big boy. And the power in prayer was so big that nobody realizes that 
when you pray and you pray, you know, it's coming and better days are ahead. And George Washington, if you remember, true story, you remember the time when all his troops got sick and they were dying. They had no money to fund the war. And they had no money to do anything and he didn't know what to do with his troops. And it was cold and they had viruses and they were sick and they just couldn't go on. So he decided, George Washington, listen closely everybody, this is real. Pay close attention. And he actually said, let's go to town and let's pray. We need this money to fund the war because the government wasn't going to give him $50,000 and he was asking and no, but the federal wasn't giving it to him to fund it. And he, he had a moment of prayer. And listen what happened. True story. He went into town. The whole town started to pray that we need the money for this war. We need to fund it. God, please help us. We're going to die. We, and it just so happened that the richest person in Pennsylvania at the time, I believe it was PA at the time, he walked out of the prayer and went to all his richest friends. He was the wealthiest guy in town and knocked on all his friends' doors, the wealthiest people, and said, we need to help. We need to help George Washington. We need to help the troops and we need to fund this war. That next morning, he was given $50,000 and they continued on. No one talks about the power of prayer but history could have been changed if that day nobody prayed and got together because that man in power of prayer knew it was time. And who do you think told him to go and get his friends and help? There's power in prayer, ladies and gentlemen. Don't lose your faith because I do believe over the last couple of years and a lot of us lost our way and lots of us lost what's really important. And what's really important is breathing. What's really important is be kind to others. And when a situation arises that you have no control over, because you can't control what you can't control, so don't worry about it. Just do what everyone's telling you to do. Because fear and panic, ladies and gentlemen, that sells. You know what doesn't sell? Saying, Hey, Joanna, how you doing, baby? I hope your life is, uh, I hope you and your family are okay. Hey, Anna, how you doing? I hope everything's cool with you and the fam. You're enjoying some private time if you can. Hey, Ileana, old school. How you doing, baby? What's up, Andrew Kennedy? What up, Spin? How you doing, baby? Nice to see you. So all of us that grew up, we've been through some times. And right now, we need some positive people out there talking. We don't, no disrespect. It's just me. It's my opinion. When you're out there talking positivity, work through the negativity. Get it out of your brain. Your anti-self is what I call it. It's that person. I named that person. The name is Johnny. You can't do this. You can't do that. The world's going to end. You know what I say to that guy? Shut the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Shut the front door, my dude. You ain't going to tell me nothing. You know why? Because I came from a place, guess what? And I'm not saying, look, anybody come from anywhere in the world, I just grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and at the end of the day, guess what? You punched us in the mouth, we got back up. You told us to roller skate and we fell on our face, we wiped it off and got back up. We've been hit, we've been grounded, we've been punched in the mouth, and guess what? Stand up, baby, stand up, everyone. Because if we keep listening, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Stop listening to the negativity and God has given us an opportunity because society is giving us all anxiety. That's what they do. Wrap them up. If you cut out your toxic people and you cut out the negative self-talk, the every, negative self-talk because you're listening to these knuckleheads that all they do is talk about doom and gloom. Every single people, I can understand the healthcare workers. I get it. They live in it. You home chilling by your TV, watching TV. If you can't get that right and do that and get through this, something's wrong with you, cuzzo. What's so difficult? And I'm not taking it away. And please don't get this wrong. This is my life. I choose to live it this way. Some people don't. 
But you can change your mindset right now and say, you know what? I ain't been off in three weeks of my entire life. I never been bike riding with my daughter, my significant other. I ain't called my friend in three weeks. I've called people. I've been calling people I know for 30 years ago, 20 years ago. How you doing, man? How's your family? I'm reconnecting with people I don't know. Because you know what we just got right now? We got a reset button. Reset. What does that mean? Guess what? Gratitude. Thankfulness. Appreciate mankind. Appreciate you can see that beautiful rainbow that some people can't. Listen to the music. I see everybody on the classics. I'm like, ho, oh, here we go. I'm like, that's how we rocking. Yo, dance. Music is the answer, right? Who would have done that eight weeks ago? Nobody. Everybody's running and running. It's like this. Woo! Now we go back to basics. You know what it is? What does the Bible say? What do things say? Love thy neighbor. Show some L-O-V-E. Take that hate and throw it in the garbage. We don't need you spreading hate anywhere. Enough. We don't need nobody saying what this is. The bottom line is we need to talk together, bond together, and get through this together. Because we will. And you have an opportunity to come out of this a better person. To come out of this and say, you know what? I'm grateful, man. And if I want to change my life, I have an opportunity right now to look around me and say, you know what? This is not what I want to do or where I want to be. How many times have you looked at your kid and said, I love you. I truly love you. How many times you look at your significant other and said, I miss you. I've been working so much. I've been out. Just having that time to tell you how much I'm, I love you. How many times do you tuck your kids into bed? I don't know if you're a boyfriend, girlfriend. You know, how many times you turn around and say, you know what, I, now I understand that I'm so thankful I have you. Because I'm quarantined with the one I love the most. And yeah, Kareem, how you doing, Amy? What's up, Hope? What's up, Romina? Girl, how you doing? Christine Mariano, oh, I love. You already know. Hi, Julissa. Hey, Kathleen. Thank you for joining this is my man Kareem. It's so it's, it's sad how much negativity we deal with on a daily basis over here. I have to explain to everyone to let it go. You don't know what they're dealing with. That's right. That's why when I open the door for someone and they don't say thank you, it's okay. Because I don't know what they're going through at that time. But I know I'm going to do the right thing. Hey, Romina. What's up, Susan? How you doing? And I compel all of you, man. Protect your joy. Protect your peace. There's no better time, Catherine, right now to really take a good look at what's really important. And your faith has to be extremely strong. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Hey, Jill, how you doing? And I know it's scary. Yeah, we don't do things for thank you. And someone said to me the other day, yo, D, that's a great performance. I said, dude, I'm not performing. I appreciate you. I appreciate you love that. I'm not performing. I just want to speak my truth. And I want to impact the people that, that need it. Because I think we all need a little love. And I think we all need a little positivity in our lives. Because with all this ridiculous negativity... Where we, we, we tell people to worry about things that, are, honestly, 99% of the things you worry about, listen closely, they never happen. So we go through our life worrying about things that never come to fruition. And why do we do that? Because think about it. When you look back on your life, you're going to worry about things that never happened. And you're going to say, I never lived. No. No. I hope that every single person on this is writing down what I'm grateful for, what I'm going to do when, I'm, when this is over, and what I'm going to, person I'm going to be, because the world just been reset. 
and I pray that, hey, what's up, Joel? How you doing, baby? Thank you for joining, John. How you, Susan? I've tried to take negative and toxic people out of my life. Cut them out. They're no good. They bring you down. I help people who are with anxiety. I help people with, you know, depression. And the craziest thing is when we talk and we keep talking and I got experience talking because experience is knowledge. They understand that, you know what? If D can do it, so can I. We all have the capability to do it. Hope, I welcome this reset. That's what's up. Welcome this time. And my daughter came to me, and I want you to you know my daughter said to me last night? It was incredible. What up, Andrew? God bless you, old school. All love, Spin. You already know, kid. She said, Daddy, you know what God's doing? Not only is he having us be more grateful, enjoy our time, know that every day is a gift, he's also protecting the earth. I said, what do you, and I was like, what do you mean, sweetheart? And she said, because the earth has been dying too. The earth has been hit hard, daddy. The earth was, was, was hurting. And I think God said, everybody needs to just pause, reset, and chill. And listen to what everybody's telling us to do. And we'll get through this together. But if you're online, you're on social media, or you're a speaker like myself, or even just a human, spread the love, bro. And if you can't because your mind is not strong enough, I understand. Not everybody is extremely powerful in their mind. But that's something that we all need to work on because right here, is where everything happens. You may be living in your mind, but you're not living it in your life. Hey, Ira, how you doing, baby? Hey, Ira, man, keep playing that guitar, man. Keep, I watch you, man. You keep spraying that guitar for these people, man. You, you, you spread what you're good at, man. You go out there. What up, Ash? You already know. And, and just like I'm, I, I had my boy Eddie the other day. He's a DJ. He's a, yo, D, how you doing? I said, Ed, go on live, bro. Get on live. To give some people some music. Let's go downstairs. Let's get it on. Ten minutes later, the boy was live. I was like, get him. Next time, like, Ira. I saw my man Ira playing the guitar. Someone, Aaron. Aaron Pesson is a clown. Do some clown things. Make people smile, bro. You know? Get out there and help people and encourage them and stop telling them that they're going to die. Stop it. There are people that are dying every day. And I take nothing away what's happening right now. Nothing. I feel terrible. It breaks my heart. They didn't deserve it. At all. But no one deserves to die. And oh, 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 we're all going to go sometime. That's the truth. I'm just keeping it real. Always. But it's not how you die. It's how you're going to live. So I ask you a question. How are you going to live? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Am I living my truth? Am I living what I believe in my heart makes me wake up every Monday morning? Am I in the job that really makes me smile? And right now, Stacy and Ira and Mark and everybody and Donatella... We could look back and say, am I living my true self? Hey, Rose, how you doing? Am I? If you're not, now's a great time to take a good look deep into you. Because check this out. Your title, my title, the world's titles have been stripped. You are who you are. Not your badge at your job. Or what you do. And I'm not taking away for anybody's hard work because I've been working 80, 90 hours for 25 years. Believe me, I get it. But I promise you something. I choose. I choose to be positive. I choose to be a leader and come out here and speak my truth and help people and understand that God gave us a gift, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why he calls it the present. And I'm not going off no script, no nothing. This is straight from the heart. And I wouldn't tell you something that I ain't living. Because I've been through it. I've been through death and tragedy. I've seen people die. I lived in, in New York for 35 years of my life. 
I lost over 50 friends, friends before I was 50. So I know what death looks like and it's painful. And I loved all of them. I lost my best friend when I was 20. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Apologize about that, but it's painful when you lose somebody, you know? You lose your best friend. It's gonna hurt, you know? Ah, that's what it is. So a real man, straight up, this is true feelings. This is cheers because you love someone and I get it. But right now, you gotta be real. And I know if it hurts and you have anybody that is hurting and dying, I feel for you. But make no mistake. Make no mistake. We need more people out here. If you're going to go on social media, please, I compel you. Speak facts, man. Speak the truth. Don't get everybody crazy. Don't say we're going to die. Don't say the numbers. Forget it. This is a wrap. I can't believe. Chill. You're hurting people. And I know it's tough for some people because that's the way that their mind works. I get it. So if we can get out here and all of us who are leaders and have faith and believe in kindness and courage and resiliency and persistence, it won't get the best of us. It won't. Because that's who we are. That's who we are. We are an incredible, incredible bunch of human beings. And we can accomplish so much. But we need to accomplish it together. Together now, ladies and gentlemen. The world needs to unite together. So please, I compel you, man. Take this reset and take this time to enjoy what life has given us. And God has said, you know what? Let's chill. Let's go back and understand what made us great. You know what that is? My opinion? Looking out for each other, bro. Really, truly looking out. So when you're outside, say hello to someone. You know some old people or people in your neighborhood that need help? Call them up if you can do it. Yesterday I was fixing my basketball net and I'm not good at fixing things, just so we're clear. <laughs> My neighbor came over. He said, don't worry, D, I'm gonna get my tools, I'll help you out. And we were outside fixing my net. Any normal day, most people inside. It was so nice to see people helping each other. Can we please continue that? Self-reflection, correct, Ira. Self-awareness. And my message today, man, is just, please, reset. Write down what's really important to you. Write down what you've been grateful for. And go out there and spread the love, man. And listen, I ain't perfect either. I've shared with my times with you, my struggle, because we all got struggles. But don't get it twisted. Through our struggle becomes our strength. Through our struggle becomes our strength. Because just imagine if we never struggled through anything how are we ever going to have our power? So ladies and gentlemen, I sincerely mean this. Please, you see a healthcare worker, you show them love. First responders, love. People who are going out there, taking a risk, love. And straight up, guys, I love every single person. Because we need to spread love. We understand that we got a virus that's going. But if we can get on here on social media, because we don't need NBC, ABC, CBS, no news stations. You know why? Right here is the deep boogie station. <laughs> that's it. We got our own platform. You can speak your own truth. But if you're going to talk about some nonsense 
and you're going to talk about just abusing people, and you're going to talk about the world's going to end, take your stuff someplace else. No disrespect. Just stop hurting other people. If your mind ain't right, I get it. If you're anxious, I get it. Please go outside, a little bit of a walk, meditate, take get a calm map and meditate. Relax a little bit. Read a book. Don't come out here, and I'm being a hundred. Don't come out here and saying things ain't correct. Don't come out here and saying I can't believe we're dying. Don't come out here and we're never gonna make it because not only are you saying it to yourself, you killing these other people. Because now they're going through the roof. And you know what's killing us? The anxiety. I get it. Believe me. I have high anxiety. Trust me. Whoop. As you can tell, I'm a little wild. But it's manageable. You can control it. Because you only can control what you, you can't control what you can't control. But I promise you this, Ira. You can control saying, God bless you. You can control saying, God, God, save this world. God, I know what's in your hands. You can say that one sentence. There are things that we can do if we're strong enough to do it. Hey, how you doing, Debbie? Hey, Christine, how you doing? Ash, what's up, my dude? Raymond Giacobbe, love. Raymond Giacobbe's on here, man. That's my dude. Mayor of Rawway. God bless you, brother. That guy right there. That guy is taking care of that place and making sure that his community is safe, sound, and that dude has a heart of gold, man. Yo, I watched you the other day, Ray, and you were an inspiration to me, brother. I mean that sincerely. You love those people in your town more than anything, and that's why you do what you do, man. And God bless you, Ray, and I mean that sincerely. From the bottom of my heart, they got the right guy over there, my dude. Love, Ray, sincerely. Do I see Brett Tambacus? Do I see my man Brett Tambacus? Where's he at? Where's he at, baby? There he is. Ha, 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 ha. This too shall pass. You already know. So you have got to understand something, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody said, D, you too positive. I said, really? Then change the station. <laughs> I was like, change it. Somebody need to come out here and be positive. Right, Christine and kind. Everybody needs to just chill, man. Ain't no bombs coming over. Ain't no helicopters over here. The stores are going to have food. Don't go crazy. We're going to make it, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to be stronger for it if you choose to. Because I'm telling you right now. When I, what up, Brett? When we come out of this, boy, I'll tell you. If I see somebody not holding the door for somebody. Not helping mankind. I'm going to let you know. Do you remember, my dude? Just don't forget. Because we tend to come out of things and forget. Don't. Because right now, God has said, chill. Find your purpose. Speak your truth. And understand what's really important. And that's gratefulness. No matter what situation you're in, you have a choice. No matter what. How you respond. We control that. And respond for love and understand. We got this. We got it. So please, you ain't doing nothing tonight? Go in your basement, put on some music, put on some lights, and dance the night away. Because you never know when you'll have an opportunity of a three week vacation. Because we got all those people out there, the healthcare workers. The first responders, construction in the city, everybody out there putting it, their lives for us. And we got to pray for them. Pray for them, ladies and gentlemen. Pray every day. There's so much power in prayer. Make no mistake. The more that we pray together, the stronger it's going to be. And guess what? Pray positivity. You get out there. You get out there and keep it positive. We need more people like that. There's enough people. No disrespect. Everybody has their way of doing things. I'm not knocking anybody's hustle. That's right. Construction, Rob. My boy's in the city right now. My main man is working downtown, getting on the bus with a mask on, going five days a week. That's right, brother Rob. I mentioned you. You cast before. We need you. God bless you. All you dudes. When you go by the construction work, say thank you. You go by a healthcare worker, thank you. Thank you. 
I love you. And I so mean that. God better send me some check to pay my bills. That's what's up. Pray, my dude. And hopefully, hey, John, man, call me, baby. You know I got you, kid. And people around you got you. And if you pray hard enough, watch what happens. Good things come to you. And I so mean that. Hey, Raquel, how you doing, baby? There you go. New Jersey Transit Workers. What up? Yo, shout outs over here, baby. That's what we need to do. Shout out to NJ Transit. Shout out to the construction workers. Show them love online. Say thank you. Keep doing you. Because of you, I could be me. No disrespect to celebrities. No disrespect to anybody. Everybody right now is on the same boat. We all got the same title. It's called human. That's our title right now. Humans. Hey, Clarice, baby. How you doing? What's up, Doreen? How you doing, baby? Ha! We should go back to take back to the gazebo days when we had no worries. Whoa, what up? Gazebo Fridays. Do I have to kick a beat right now? Boom, boom. I'll just blow it up. Have everybody in the building. We could do it. I could, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all got this, man. Even if you ain't got no steps or no kind of rhythm, you could have two left feet and do it. <laughs> Raquel, how you doing? But you too, Raquel. You go out there and speak your truth. I see you, Raquel. Let the power of positivity really put the hand like God's hand on top of the world and say, you know what? I got you. We're going to make it through this. And do what you've been wanting to do for a long time. Putting it off. Because the only thing we can't get back, ladies and gentlemen, is time. And in six months from now, we're going to look back on this and go, I'm working, I'm busy. Man, I wish I had more time. Well, now you got it. And what you going to do? So someone said, I love your shirt. So here's what it says, baby. Positive attitude. Makes for some good times. It's a practice, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a mindset. And I ain't better than nobody. I ain't worse than nobody. But I will tell you, right here is where it starts and ends. And you know what? Anybody on here that can play a musical instrument, is a DJ, can do knitting, is good at carpentry, whatever it is. Yo, my man, get out there. What up? And show people. Teach them. Have some fun. Speak your truth. And don't be shy. Don't be shy. Because believe it or not, everyone needs someone. Ladies and gentlemen, before I go, I just want to tell you, man, reset. And if you have a talent right now, because we all do, get up there, get on there, and show your talent. And I don't, you don't need hand claps. It's not about great performance. It's really about being the authentic you and doing what you love to do. And you don't have to be out here, but I choose to be because I want to be one of the leaders in this positivity and through this reset change that we call life. Johnny boy, I love you, brother. You know that, right? Jamie, how you doing? Hey, Tony. What's up, Doreen? Yeah, we, we used to go bananas. <laughs> we could still. What's the big deal? We ain't dead. I was on the classics. I don't know if you all go to classics, but this new classics thing on Facebook. I'm going to keep it real, man. I was jamming. That's some old school stuff. I was like, it's about that time, kid. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So, I know people looking at me going like, No. Kenny Rogers, man, I watched this thing last night with my wife. I mean, there's, there's so many things that can just make your mind right. Ladies and gentlemen, man, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, please look around you and be grateful if you can. And uh, take this time to reset. Take this time to reset. And do whatever you can to stay as positive as possible. I know it's difficult. But uh, better days are coming. Better days are coming. Have faith. Don't forget, it's your boy D Boogie right here. You already know. Every day is Friday. And if you don't know, now you know, my dude, how important it is. Because you don't got to wait for Friday to enjoy your life. Every second, every minute is important. All love. 
please spread it a little bit. People really need it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, love always. It's your boy, D-Boogie. Peace.